Hey guys, it's Empties. So it's Empties and it's a new product that I'm super excited about. So if you're curious to see what's in my trash and what I'm excited about, stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna get right to the chase. I have got like a ton of trash. I mean, this is a lot of trash for me. Usually, I don't, I don't like having all this trash hanging around. It's just like totally crazy. And I have a new product that I'm really loving. And if you if you wear wigs or you wear hair pieces, or you're in between going to the hairdressers, right? I mean, we're all we all we're all there, right? Either you're gonna wear a wig, or you're gonna wear a hair piece, or you're gonna have wonderful, beautiful bio hair, but maybe you got some grays, or you're in between your root touch-ups. And I've gone through the gamut. These are I've got a couple of empties on my Root Magic L'Oreal. I've talked about this product before. I actually love this. I've got a couple of different colors, right? I mean, so you can spray, and it, it just it just gets you through that hurdle until you have your going to your salon or you're doing your own hair so this has been a staple it's empty i've purchased it i've purchased all of these these are not yet empty but topic these are uh, hair fiber fillers root cover-up a lot of people use these especially if they're thinning hair and they want to have some sort of a fill in powder so that their hair looks fuller myself included and then i also have one thick fiber these are all these i paid a lot of money for all these so these are all products that i've bought so thick fiber same idea as topic um topic i have in a few different colors i have a light brown a medium brown i've actually had a dark blonde before and this thick fiber that i bought is a medium blonde so because my hair is multiple colors i always play around with different fiber shades for the fill-ins. I also have Wow, Color Wow. I bought this. You can see it's very well used. You can see I've hit pan. I bought this. I, I want to, I'm not too sure if I got this off of Amazon or where, where I got it, but it's one that I bought. This is a little tiny small one. Hit pan on this one, at least on the lighter one. And then I have this one, which I'm really excited about. This is the Madison Reed one. And it has a, it has two brushes. It has a little tiny one, and it has a thicker one. And the thicker one you can use to brush in your fill powder. So the Madison Reed one is the one that was sent to me from Madison Reed via the Octoly Network, complimentary in exchange for review. And I'm telling you, I'm super excited about this for a couple of reasons. Having having used all these other brands that I already mentioned, I already have a really good solid expectations of what a fill-in powder is going to look like on me or a root cover-up and how long it's going to last, all right? Whether it's going to come off, whether I get caught in a snow thing and all of a sudden I have brown coming down my face or rain shower or something like that. I'm always looking for security and I'm willing to pay money for something that I believe is going to give me that security because when I put in a root cover-up or a fill-in powder, I want it to look natural and I want it to stay. I've heard of Madison Reed. I'm sure many of you have as well. I listen to a lot of true crime podcasts and in the true crime podcast, Madison Reed is, I think, I don't know whether they sponsor or whatever, but they, they're always advertising. They're always promoting. And, and, and sometimes I think it's really funny when the guys on the true crime garage or one of the others start talking about these products and I'm like going, okay, you know, but anyways, you can see this product in, um, in some of the stores like Ulta. I don't know about Sephora, but Madison, and read let me just tell you a little bit about this so it's a hair color company I I know that many content creators have tried their hair dyes I'm not interested in trying their hair dyes at all this is what they call their great I'm gonna read this because I don't want to mess this up their great cover-up root and brow powder it's compact you can put it in your bag it's got a little mirror and like I said it's got the two little brushes a thin one and a thicker one. When they say that this is a cover-up and a brow product, I did my brows with it today. Now granted, I don't have the best brows, right? I mean, they're not professionally done, shaped, or anything like that. They're just, you know, my old lady brows. But I did my brows with this. I 
love it. I also, because I'm wearing a wig today, I also have to touch up my grays, which is where you're going to see this a lot, right around the roots of your hair. And so what I did is I just brushed on the thick brush, pardon me while I do this, and now I kind of messed this up, and I didn't want to mess it up, but I did kind of mess it up a little bit. And the reason why I didn't want to mess it up is because when it says that it stays, it absolutely stays. So I probably went in a little bit more heavier here, but I hope you can see it. Uh, this stuff, <laughs> I'm telling you, I was like, holy mackerel, and then little one for your brows, or to even comb if you wanted to comb it out a little bit. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. It stays, and that to me is huge, huge, because I've not had that. I've not had one that totally stays until you wash it off, right? The rest of these, I'll put them on, and I'll, the next morning I have to reapply. This, it'll stay until I wash it off, and it's like, it's like amazing. So anyways, again, this was sent to me via the Arkley Network, Madison Reed. Great cover-up, root, touch-up, and brow. Yeah, my brows. I did my brows with them. I, I actually love it. So even though I'm wearing a wig, you still need those root cover-ups because most of your wigs are not going to come right to your hairline. And you want something that's going to be super natural looking like this. I love it, absolutely. So anyways, empties. I've, I've gone through many different eye washes. I have dry eye. After I take my makeup off, my eye mascara off, and I've been using the DHC, Deep Cleansing Oil, to remove my eye makeup. I don't use it to clean my face, but to remove my eye makeup. And then when I'm done that, because of the dry eye, I've been using an eye wash. So after I get my mascara off, I go through, I get an eye wash, and I go through a couple of different brands. I've gone through a couple of different brands of eye wash. This last one is one I got at Walgreens, and I got it on sale. I really like it. It kind of makes my eye, after I've done my, removed everything, and sometimes I'll, I'll wash my whole face. I'll do my peaches routine. I love my peaches routine, by the way. I got my new peaches in, so I'm super excited about that. Then I normally, either before or after that routine, depending on it, I usually do a soothing eye wash. I need that for my red eye. It's just my red eye is, you know, it, it flares up like crazy. Hydro Mask, this is a City Beauty. Now, you know, City Beauty, I know, I know they send out a lot of products. I've got a lot of City Beauty products. Um, there are some City Beauty products that I really, really like. I know some people love the, lips, the lipsticks. I've never been a, a super fan of their lip gloss, but they're, they're nice. But City Beauty, I, I, th I swear, their masks are amazing. Uh, and I'm a mask person, so I'm all out of City Beauty masks. I love their masks, so I have to get some more for sure. The other thing for my eyes is eye drops. I go through a whole bunch of different eye drops as I'm experimenting with keeping my dry eye somewhat under control. This is the Refresh Optive. Optive? I, I have some more of this, so I'm going to be fine with that for a while. I have plenty. I love the e.l.f. This is their Instant Brow Pencil, their Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I have one more of these. I went to go to, I went to Ulta last week to buy this one again. I wanted this shade, the taupe, and they didn't have any. So, but I'll pick it up Walmart or somewhere else. But this is the e.l.f. Instant Brow. I love it. It's got a little pencil, twist up, and a very, it's a softer pencil, so I really like that. It's a twist up so you don't have to sharpen it. And then it has the little brush. So to me, that's like absolutely perfect. I finished my All Nutrient Sculpt Body Amplifier when I wash my hair. My bio hair is pretty thin. I need all the help I can to give it some of a rump and some volume. So when I wash my bio hair, I usually put the sculpting gel in when I'm blow drying my hair and it gives me some nice volume. There are other things I use to, you know, when I'm styling my hair when it's dry, but this is... I won't be without this, and I've got my replacement. Got my replacement and love it. I went through two Morphe setting sprays. 
Yeah, two of them. This is the Continuing Setting Mist. I really like this. I really like this. So I like the Morphe and the NYX, which is the pump spray. This is more the aerosol spray. And I, um, and I, yeah, I mean, and I like the Mac. So, but these are, these have been my favorite. I've gotten, I've bought the most of those. Finished up the CBD overnight. This is the night CBD water soluble. I have a little shot glass, you know, like if you were going to mix a drink, I have a little plastic shot glass by my bedside. And then when I'm ready to, when I want to shut my iPad down and I know I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep, I normally will take a little bit of water out of my water bottle. I'll put a half a dropper in, in there and I drink it. And I'm usually asleep within 10, 15 minutes. This stuff works really well. It is pricey, but it is worth it. I'm sure you guys have CBD shops in your area. If you struggle with sleep, you might want to try one of these. This again is the, the night CBD night, and it is the water soluble. We, Jay just bought another bottle of it. This is worth it for us. And the, the other thing I have is the Wet n Wild Mega Jelly Face Primer. I had heard that this was really awesome, so I went and I got some. I can't stand it. This is almost full. I'm just tossing it because every time I've tried to use this, it, it doesn't dry down on me. It just, it's, it's disgusting. Wipes. This is the Avena face wipes. I use many different types of face wipes. I like this. This was really nice. I probably am not going to run out and get it right now because I have a whole package of Members Mark from Sam's Club that I use. And then the Ulta Beauty cotton pads. I buy any cotton pads. I am not hooked on, on having one cotton pad over another. I just buy whichever ones I can. Equate Hair Treatment Regrowth. This is um, Rogaine, kind of like a woman's version or the off-brand version of the Equate. I put a drop in near my scalp. I'm not very consistent with it. I need to get better. I have already bought another replacement of it. I have not bought this. This is the um, Hyaluronic Acid uh, Hydra Power Essence. I've got a couple of essences and I've not bought this again. It was nice. Another one that's a snail essence. You know, I'm going to go through and finish them out, but I just been, have been using the peaches and I've been happy with that, the peaches skincare. Hand wash foaming. Love this stuff. I've got about eight more of these. So this stuff is really good. Another face mask. Prep the skin for flawless makeup application. Primer. Redken. Hot sets? Yes, yes, yes. My hot sets. That's one of the things I use on my dry hair. And then this is the, uh, th this is actually the Sigma Magic Brush Cleaner. All gone. Very, very good. I don't need to buy it again. I have many other brush cleaners that I use that I like, like the Ulta brand brush cleaner works just as well. And it's a heck of a lot cheaper. So I really like that. I'm all out of my Maku. I still have the 50% off coupon. Um, I think it works. Um, I don't know. McHugh, they've been a little bit, they haven't been very responsive. I tried it. It did work. I bought, oh gosh, two bottles of this like maybe three months ago, but this one is finally gone. Here's another eye wash that I got rid of that I finished. Lid and Lash Cleanser. This was pricey and I think that it's just as nice as the Walgreen one for the money. What did I finish here? An Avon Glimmer Stick, all gone. I miss my Avon. And also Romantic Rose 450 from Maybelline, all gone. That's my lipstick. And I finished a blink. So now I can toss this trash because it drives me crazy having all this stuff hanging around. As you can see, I went through a whole lot of trash. It always seems to happen to me. The battery dies, so I have no idea if I'm in the same position. So I know I went through a lot of trash here um, and you know yeah I needed to get rid of this stuff but if you're looking to try something with a root cover-up this Madison Reed I think 
I have an Octoly 20% off of this. The retail price is $32. And with the coupon that I have in Octoly, it's 20% off. I know you can get it in other stores as well, but it is definitely awesome. It says here that um, filling in your hairline for the perfect updo or extending the life of your color, wanting to add some coverage to your brows, easy sweat proof formula is perfect for you and it works on all different hair types and textures and they have a number of different colors. I really like it. It's makeup for your hair and makeup for your brows. And I love the container. I love the fact that it's so portable that it has the thicker brush and the thinner one. So this is a big hit for me. Yes, it was said to be complimentary, but as you can tell by all the ones that I have bought, I, I, would, I would have bought this. I would definitely have bought this and tried it. And I will buy it because I'm like amazed at how awesome and realistic that looks. I think it looks great. So anyways, that's the scoop. That's my trash. That's my exciting new things. And um, if you stay to the end, I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you all so much for all your support. And I will see you in my next video.